mimi naitwa Mandi Mukona kutoka Ivumbune tulikuwa tunavijia vijiti kitambo kwa kutoa meno ile chakula tulikula kuna ndoa na kijiti unaona damu inaanda kutoka I was using a tooth stick I had a bleeding gum which was very painful We have a challenge of the diseases which are affecting our community and most of the pupils because of the financial status and most of when it comes to our dental and also the teeth that is a problem we are facing with our pupils Dental care is basically um expensive and two it's also unreachable for most people in Kenya especially people who come from poor backgrounds and during practice a dentist will require expensive materials to use so when you compound everything together it becomes an expensive uh, affair in terms of patients affordability the most common dental issues we meet as pediatric dentists is an issue of dental decay we also meet uh, issues relating to the gum infection or gingivitis in children we have uh, this organization the king of africa uh, since it uh, came to our school we have seen they have tried to assist our pupils the information they are getting also the education they are getting they are extending it to their parents and uh, since it uh, started in our school We have seen some improvement. Kinga Africa is an organization that helps children to know how to brush their teeth. They teach them and they are like friends, teachers because they teach us a lot. My name is Francis Mudama, uh, the founder and uh, the CEO of Kinga Africa, which is a non-profit organization that was founded to enhance communities health, particularly oral health because the need for oral health and sensitization and uh, access and affordability of dental services is very 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 high in Kenya and uh, in other countries in Africa as well and i thought well why can't we start educating the young children in primary schools on oral health so that by the time they become of age they will actually have um, adopted this um, brushing and other oral health techniques early in time. So the program uh, is aimed at equipping children with skills on how to take care of their teeth, especially through brushing, so that they can prevent themselves from dental diseases in the future. We brush our teeth in circles, I'm up and down in small circles. We actually start from the known to the unknown. For example in some communities you have to take hold of uh, the traditional chewing stick and then use that to introduce the modern chewing stick which is the toothbrush and then we try as much as we can to you know take them where they should be in terms of knowledge on oral health and uh, other aspects of health that we are also handling. So far we have reached more than 5 million children and their teachers in primary schools where we educated them on oral health how to brush when and how and we've also given them free toothbrushes and toothpaste and for sure this is bringing a lot of change in terms of uh, oral health practices at home and in school used to have pupils who and uh, problems of uh, uh, related with the teeth but now that problem as uh, minimized because of that knowledge they are getting how they should take care of their teeth how they should avoid eating some foods which can also be harmful to their teeth utoto wangu alikuwa anauma na meno kafura wabewa na ndawa na kinga walikuwa wanaenda shule bila ku brush na siku ile mule wa atabatia akaanza ku brush meno yakaacha kuuma hata siku hizo anaambia ngi madadi na uma na meno hiyo maneno ikaisha Yes the training has proved to be very important because oral hygiene is one of the daily activities that we practice I'm going to tell let the children know about this and so they will be able to embrace the brushing of their teeth such that they are, their teeth are healthy We have uh, 
another program that we call uh, dental camps run in the communities where we organize a um, dental camp maybe in the hospitals. We also do them uh, in the communities where we treat them for free. There is screenings, there is fillings, and there is uh, extractions that are done to the patients that visit. Our camps are free of charge, but um, that is equally a problem because we have so many people turning out for the camps, actually more than we can manage. But um, so far, so good. We've been able to offer free services, which includes extractions, fillings. Uh, we've done dentures as well to the toothless, and they are very, very, very excited about it. As an organization, we want to help these communities, especially children, eh, to ensure that they stop the bad habits that they would be having that would be detrimental to their oral health and to bring out a, a new generation that possibly be you know, free of the kind of uh, dental issues that we are seeing uh, plaguing the current uh, generation and even those in the past. We are also fighting some um, dangerous dental practices. Uh, there is this belief that teething causes diarrhea and uh, to minimize the effects of uh, diarrhea, the communities have devised their own ways where they extract the developing teeth bands uh, using some crude weapons and, you know, in very, very sterile conditions. And this inflicts a lot of pain. Infant oral mutilation is a practice that is carried out by certain tribes and it involves a traditional or herbalists within the communities gorging out primary teeth, particularly the primary canine, in the hope that they are curing or preventing childhood diseases like vomiting, diarrhea, and fevers. And they use crude instruments in an unsterile environment. The child is likely to contract infection like hepatitis. They are also uh, susceptible to getting infection like HIV AIDS. Could also lead to destruction of the growing permanent teeth below the tooth they are removing. So basically what we're doing is that we are educating teachers at the community levels. We are also training community health volunteers and the community at large uh, mentally on what really causes diarrhea and leading them to alternative treatment for diarrhea. I am impressed with the work the organizations involved in. As an organization, it is already doing a good job. I, for example, in the area of research and what I'm getting from research, we are going to work together and incorporate whatever information we are getting out of research so that they can also utilize it in propagating their uh, education to the population. The knowledge they taught me, I shared with my family because back then we were all using tooth, tooth stick and it was hard for us. But now I can see very many advantages because they give us toothbrush and we started in my village by visiting one school in a few months, but now the organization has really grown. We have our own uh, offices and we are also serving almost the lunch at Kenya now. We are implementing programs in uh, Eastern Kenya at the coast, in Nyanza, parts of Kisumu, Siaya, Vihiga, and also in central Kenya. When implementing the school health programs, we normally face a challenge, especially on transportation of the products, majorly from the office, which is based in Matu, to the areas that we cover, the schools that we normally take the products to when implementing the program. Some of the places that we, we work in, uh, the terrain is not that good. So, you know, it calls for some hardy vehicles and things like that. But Our vision is uh, much bigger than uh, what uh, we had initially thought thought about or what our CEO had planned for and as at now we have started the first and only dental hospital in East and Central Africa. We've built a four unit dental clinic that will serve Machakos County, Kitwi County, Embu, Kiambu and 
other counties uh, around uh, uh, where we have the clinic. We are through with the building works, but now we have a huge challenge in equipping the clinic. We need the dental units and the other dental equipment and instruments. The thing about dental equipment and material, it requires a lot of maintenance and requires a, a steady supply. So we are not able to do it with a one-off kind of um, consignment. We will need that kind of assistance to be flowing you know, fluently through the years and the months. And for that we are inviting dental companies and um, people of goodwill to help us in equipping this dental facility. You know, those smiles, how they feel, that motivates me, that will make me wake up every morning fully energized for work to just make at least one more smile on someone's face. We intend to see a country and a world free of dental diseases. So that is one thing that keeps us moving towards achieving this goal. We are proud to be associated with the King Africa because we have seen the importance of it, how it has benefited us as teachers and also how it has benefited the pupils. We would really wish to invite especially dentists to come work with us uh, to offer these free services, their time and talent and their treasures as well to the communities who need them the most. Mm -hmm.